Please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon, and never miss an update from Fashion Speaks. Hey, what's happening, guys? PG is here today. I'm gonna show you how you can make a custom mode for your Android device. In this mode, you can take a screenshot from your navigation bar. So, the mode guide you will find in the next few minutes. So, how mode works? Let's find it out. So, in the old way, we used to uh, take a screenshot with our power buttons. Like we used the volume down plus power button at, at the same time we hold and to take a screenshot which helps you take a screenshot but this time I'm gonna show you a mode or how to make that mode I'm gonna show you next so how the mode works let's see so as you see this is my app drawer so here I'm going to take a screenshot using my navigation bar so I'm going to open the YouTube app you can use any app whatever you want wherever you want to take the screenshot just press the back button and the home button so as you see here you take the screenshot you can take screenshot whatever you want while while do gaming while do uh, browsing or so i'm going to show you uh, you can also take a screenshot by using any app so i'm going to use the instagram here so instagram you can also take a screenshot here just press the back button and the home button like we we, uh, we hold the volume down plus power so hope you like this guide so how to make this mode let's find it out so without wasting any time let's get started So here we are guys, first you need to decompile your system UI, here I have already decompiled my system UI. So here you have to go to the resource folder and find for xml navigation bar dot xml. You can also take a reference from my playlist theme navigation bar which helps you to understand how navigation code work. So you will find the similar code on your navigation bar dot xml. So what you're gonna have to do is you have to find the three views as you, you see these three views are used for a back button home button and the recent task so here we are going to do a little bit modification here like if you have own have soft keys then you can do this modification like you have a navigation bar and the soft soft keys both then you can do this modification simply just change the uh, code values here so for the back button you have to uh, remove the 3 and add 25 and for uh, home button you have to add a 26 so 25 with code is used for volume down and 26 used for a power key like so working is the same with instead of pressing volume down plus power we, we are gonna use back plus home key here but if you have both navigation bar and soft key then you can just do this simple modification but if you have only navigation bar but you don't have a soft key then you have to create a extra buttons here so how to create the extra buttons you can go find my video that is how to add an extra button in the navigation bar in the theme navigation bar playlist you can easily understand here so i'm going to create a here new button just i'm going to i'm not gonna keep creating a new button i'm just showing you how to do it just copy the code of a view plus the policy file here so just copy these two, two lines and paste below it so that now we create all created an extra button for our navigation bar so instead of changing the stock buttons we got the new custom button we just created we have to add numbers here so now we i have five buttons here three my stock which are back home and return and two for volume up volume down plus power so this is how it works so if you enjoy the mode please like the video do like and do share and don't forget to press the subscribe button you can also download download the mod from the description link you don't need to do any code coding just flash the zip file that i provided you in the description link just flashed it 
um, and my file will only work on the lollipop rooms like it will not work on the uh, Kit Kat or uh, marshmallow or uh, nugget room so you have to create your own but if you have if you are using the lollipop android version then you can just flash the zip file using custom recovery so this is it guys hope you like the video so if you enjoy the video please press the subscribe button do likes and do shares thanks for watching guys